Stop thinking, start living. Discover Lifelong Happiness by Richard Carlson is a self-help book that explores how our thoughts and perceptions shape our emotional well-being and happiness. Carlson offers a straightforward, practical approach to overcoming negative thought patterns and developing a healthier, more peaceful mind. The essence of the book revolves around the idea that overthinking and obsessive thoughts are the root of much of our emotional distress, and by learning to let go of them, we can access a more natural state of happiness. In this detailed summary, we'll explore the core concepts of the book, its insights into the connection between thought and emotions, and Carlson's strategies for breaking free from unproductive thinking habits. Introduction The Problem with Overthinking Carlson opens Stop Thinking, Start Living by identifying a common cause of unhappiness, overthinking. He argues that most of our emotional suffering is self-inflicted because we tend to overanalyze situations, dwell on the past, and worry about the future. These mental habits lead to a cycle of stress, anxiety, and unhappiness. He suggests that the key to a happier life is not to eliminate thinking altogether but to change our relationship with our thoughts. Rather than letting negative thoughts control us, we should learn to observe them without becoming attached. Carlson's philosophy is influenced by principles of cognitive behavioral therapy CBT, and mindfulness, where the focus is on understanding how thoughts impact emotions and learning to manage them better. According to Carlson, happiness is our natural state, and it's only when we become consumed by negative thinking that we move away from this state of well-being. Thought and its influence on emotions. A central theme of the book is the connection between thoughts and emotions. Carlson explains that our feelings are a direct result of our thoughts. In other words, it's not external circumstances or events that make us feel a certain way, but our interpretation of those events through our thoughts. If we think positively or neutrally about a situation, we're likely to feel calm or happy. Conversely, if we interpret a situation negatively, we'll feel anxious, angry, or sad. This insight is powerful because it implies that we have more control over our emotions than we often realize. Carlson emphasizes that while we can't always control external events, we can control how we think about them. By changing our thinking, we can change our emotional responses and, ultimately, our overall happiness. The Nature of Thought Carlson goes into detail about the nature of thought, describing it as a neutral, constant process that happens in the background of our consciousness. He explains that thoughts are just fleeting mental events, and they don't have any inherent power unless we choose to focus on them and give them significance. Many people, he argues, mistakenly believe that their thoughts reflect reality, when in fact, thoughts are often distorted, exaggerated, or simply untrue. A key takeaway from this is that we should not take our thoughts too seriously. Just because we have a thought doesn't mean it's true or that it deserves our attention. Carlson suggests that if we can learn to detach from our thoughts and see them for what they are temporary, often meaningless mental events, we can reduce their impact on our emotions. Letting go of negative thoughts. One of the practical strategies Carlson offers is learning to let go of negative thoughts. He explains that it's normal to have negative thoughts from time to time, but the problem arises when we dwell on them or ruminate. This constant mental rehashing of negative thoughts can spiral into anxiety, depression, or chronic stress. Carlson introduces the concept of thought dropping, a mental exercise that involves simply letting go of negative thoughts when they arise. Rather than engaging with or analyzing the thought, we simply recognize it, acknowledge its presence, and then consciously choose to let it go. This practice can help break the cycle of negative thinking and reduce its emotional impact. He emphasizes that this doesn't mean suppressing or ignoring thoughts, but rather, not giving them more attention or importance than they deserve. By adopting this mindset, 
we can experience a sense of mental freedom and relief from the constant barrage of negative self-talk. Living in the present moment. Another crucial concept in stop thinking, start living is the importance of living in the present moment. Much of our unhappiness, Carlson argues, comes from dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. These are the times when we are most likely to engage in overthinking, replaying past mistakes or anxiously anticipating future problems. Carlson encourages readers to focus on the here and now. He suggests that when we live in the present moment, we can experience life more fully and find joy in the simple, everyday moments. The practice of mindfulness, being fully engaged with what's happening right now, is a powerful tool for reducing stress and increasing happiness. When we focus on the present, we're less likely to be consumed by negative thoughts about things we can't control. The role of gratitude. Gratitude is another key theme in Carlson's approach to happiness. He suggests that cultivating a sense of gratitude for the things we already have is one of the most effective ways to shift our mindset from negativity to positivity. By focusing on the good in our lives, we can counterbalance the tendency to dwell on what's wrong or what we lack. Carlson recommends practicing gratitude daily, whether through keeping a gratitude journal, taking time to reflect on things we're thankful for, or simply expressing appreciation to others. This practice helps to shift our attention away from negative thoughts and reinforces a positive, optimistic outlook on life. Overcoming the need for perfection. A major barrier to happiness, according to Carlson, is the pursuit of perfection. Many people set unrealistic standards for themselves and others, which leads to constant dissatisfaction and frustration. Carlson suggests that we let go of the need for everything to be perfect and instead embrace life as it is, with all its imperfections. By accepting that things won't always go as planned and that we're bound to make mistakes, we can reduce the pressure we put on ourselves and others. This acceptance fosters a more relaxed, forgiving attitude, which in turn leads to greater happiness. Simplifying your life. Carlson also discusses the importance of simplifying life in order to reduce stress and improve well-being. He suggests that many people complicate their lives by taking on too many responsibilities, striving for material success, or getting caught up in the business of modern life. This complexity adds to mental clutter and makes it harder to maintain a clear, peaceful mind. He encourages readers to simplify their lives by focusing on what truly matters and letting go of unnecessary distractions. By doing less and prioritizing well-being over external success, people can create more space for happiness in their lives. Reconnecting with Inner Wisdom Carlson believes that everyone has an innate sense of inner wisdom or intuition, which can guide us toward happiness and well-being. However, this wisdom is often drowned out by the noise of overthinking and constant mental chatter. In order to access this inner wisdom, we need to quiet the mind and listen to our deeper, more intuitive thoughts. He suggests that when faced with decisions or challenges, we should learn to trust our inner guidance rather than overanalyzing every situation. By tuning in to this inner wisdom, we can make better decisions and navigate life with greater ease and confidence. The power of a quiet mind. A recurring message in the book is the value of a quiet mind. Carlson explains that happiness is most easily accessed when the mind is calm and quiet, free from the noise of excessive thinking. A quiet mind allows us to experience the world more clearly and with less emotional turmoil. He suggests that practices like meditation, mindfulness, and spending time in nature can help quiet the mind and promote a state of mental clarity. By cultivating a quiet mind, we can reduce stress and access a deeper sense of inner peace. Happiness as a choice. One of the most empowering ideas in Stop Thinking, Start Living is the notion that happiness is a choice. Carlson argues that we are not victims of our circumstances or our thoughts, but rather, 
we have the power to choose how we respond to them. By choosing to let go of negative thoughts, live in the present moment, and focus on gratitude, we can create a happier, more fulfilling life. This idea encourages readers to take responsibility for their own happiness and to stop waiting for external conditions to change in order to feel better. Happiness is not something that happens to us, it's something we create through our mindset and choices. Conclusion, a simpler path to happiness. In Stop Thinking, Start Living, Richard Carlson provides a practical, accessible guide to achieving greater happiness by changing our relationship with our thoughts. He offers a simple yet powerful message, stop overthinking, let go of negativity, and focus on the present moment. By doing so, we can reconnect with our natural state of well-being and live a more peaceful, joyful life. The book's key takeaway is that happiness is within reach for everyone, but it requires a shift in mindset. By quieting the mind, letting go of the need for perfection, and practicing gratitude, we can stop the cycle of negative thinking and discover lasting happiness. Carlson's approach is both practical and philosophical, offering readers tools they can use in their daily lives to cultivate a happier, more peaceful existence.